mean to you just to hear how well Penn State's represented and just how far the program has come? I mean, definitely uh, any player that went to Penn State definitely has a lot of pride about going there. And uh, it means a lot having those players. Uh, having Zelda come along with the team and a lot. Uh, I was there as a freshman. He was a senior. So it's just like that brotherhood that we got. And, uh, this definitely means a lot. Now you're a PA guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, obviously going to San Francisco in your rookie year, what's that change been like? That's probably a whole different yeah, lifestyle I mean, for you. Can you describe that? I'm used to traveling, but it's definitely been hard this year just being on the other side of the country. But, uh, I mean, just being with my teammates and uh, calling my family a lot and just uh, just football. But it's definitely been a different being out in the West Coast. And so at Penn State, you guys have a history of some really good defensive line play, 50 sacks over the last five seasons. Uh, and then you come here with guys yeah. like Bosa, Eric, DeForest. Can you just talk about just the talent of this defensive line and what it's like to go up against them in practice every day? Yeah, definitely uh, being around those guys, you get better uh, just practicing with them, training with them, uh, asking the questions. It's like, yeah, so it's definitely a, uh, it helps a lot. Uh, yeah, and as a rookie that. just coming in the league, uh, you know, no slouch in the Big Ten, but obviously yeah. that's a pretty big step up. How does that help your development as a rookie right away? Uh, I would say so. Like, I guess. Uh, just the way Big Ten football is and uh, the way the NFL, it, it compares a little bit. It's just, uh, you see if you're ready or you're not ready. So. How would you compare Coach Shanahan to the style that Coach Franklin coached at Penn State? Uh, not too, I mean, they're both offensive coaches, so I'm not worried too worried about what they're doing over there, but they're both definitely good coaches. And, uh, good leader so and then last thing for you so your football career over the past few years has taken you to a lot of great places like the Rose Bowl the Fiesta Bowl Citrus Bowl and now the Super Bowl in Miami how would you rank all of those experiences so far uh, I definitely rank all of them uh, like being blessed uh, definitely this one the most being to the Super Bowl uh, like a lot of people don't be able to make these uh, in their whole NFL career I'm up here on my first one so I'm definitely just uh, blessed to be here make the uh, most of it. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. Good luck to you. Appreciate it. Jeff, real quick, what does this experience mean to you? I mean, has this really sunk in for you yet, being here? Uh, it's sinking in, but uh, it probably won't sink in until game day when, uh, when we get out there. So, What do you think that moment is going to be like when you run out on the field, you're playing in Super Bowl 54? Uh, it's definitely going to be crazy. Just, it's the whole experience, so I just can't wait to, uh, for it to happen. And what do you think about the matchup with Kansas City? It's definitely their offense is uh, really good and uh, we got a really good defense so we're going to see what happens. Yep.